My interpreter today is Dr. Faith Karioki. Please appreciate my interpreter. Amen. Uh, I'm so glad that God has given me another opportunity to come and speak to you, encourage you. And also, speak, and also to speak to myself. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When Millicent and the team were taking us through the book of Colossians, there are so many things that I also picked as they were teaching us. And I want to speak then from the same book of Colossians that supremacy of the Lord Jesus Christ what it has done to you what it can do to you and what it has done to me because the life that Christ comes to give us he comes to give us victory over all things and our victory is our faith the faith that we have in the Lord Jesus that faith that we have in the Lord Jesus it's our faith so faith is my victory and for those that are watching us online and you picked me last Sunday I want you to pick me from where I left you and the people in the church this congregation today I'll just share a, a few things as a background of those that in the watch watched last night last time because last time I wasn't here I was in Shiloh I want to read Colossians chapter number 1 verse 9 to 17 and I will be preaching from that text the Bible says for this cause we also since the day we had it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in our wisdom and spiritual understanding this is Paul and his team they are saying since I heard about your faith in God since I heard about the love you have for Jesus I have been praying for you and I desire that you you be filled with the knowledge and all wisdom and spiritual understanding because if I'm going to be victorious I need to know that God has already released towards me all that I need for this life godliness and victory the Lord has given it towards me I don't know whether you know there are some places that snakes don't, can't survive. You also know there are some places if you don't prepare well before you get the peak you might be dead. Anybody who is climbing into Mount Kilimanjaro or Mount Kenya they tell you to practice so that your heart can be ready. Otherwise, the higher you climb it's like the, there is no much air for you. So you have to prepare. So there are some levels some things cannot survive there. And no wonder Jesus is telling us he has come and picked us and placed us on a heavenly place. A place higher. A place that is elevated. A place where the Lord Jesus gives us victory. 
pushing what Paul is trying to tell this this church there is a level that is higher than the level of the world there is a level of life available to God's children that allows them to live the lives that are holy and pleasing to God a place where it's free from many problems as the way of the transgressors blessed be the name of the Lord if you live in places where there are some snakes they will tell you there are some herbs they will plant around not very near the door but around and I was so amazed Two, three weeks ago I decided to change the grass that I have been stepping on it, it has started misbehaving in various places you know uparangoto all over the place it was uh, getting some places I, that I, were not. Ihara, Ihara, all over the place. Yes. Now, <laughs> so, I brought someone. And for the first time, listen, me, I'm not a farmer. So, this guy comes and tells me, um, um, Bishop, uh, snakes can come to your place anytime. And I said, no, nyoka wanakuja compound ambayo yuko na gated community ambayo yuko na gated community yani yani uko kwako na mumefingwa ai itakuja namna gani that's my argument nikamwambia nyoka hawezi kuja hapa but i was told na nikamwambia wewe nyoka usicheze naye don't play with a snake of course sikumwambia kuna siku nyoka i didn't tell him that there was a day a snake aliuawa kwangu hapo nje but this is what he told me. Bishop, we'll plant a few plants different places and the snakes, when they smell that, they, they, they'll just be away. So I'm, I, I'm ready. After, now, I, after the grass, I'll, I'll plant those flowers. And as I prepared to preach, because I started preparing this about two, three weeks ago, then I knew if there are plants, it is because God knew that if I obey nature, I will be safe. Wangari Mother used to say, nature is the only thing that ikikasirika. He used, to, he used to say that if nature gets annoyed, it, it can destroy. It. it can destroy. In the 90s, they decided to change uh, Nairobi River from where it was passing to create more room for their land. I know some of you don't remember that story, but I will tell you. I've been in this Nairobi since 1974. So they changed. When they changed, they did not change the nature. Because the nature knew where their river was passing. So it rained so heavily, very, very heavy. From Kikuyu, Huko, it rained heavily. And all the small tumetaros became rivers. And they put their water into Nairobi River. Then it started coming using their route, they know. So what they met in their route were vehicles. Kwanza makani kawalikuwa mejaza huko wanaifanya ni garage. 
the water met where they had put the vehicles and the water carried the vehicles brought them across the, the, the bridge on its way but after it went back to their course it behaved very well it's only in Grogon between the globe roundabout and Ronald Gala the, the roundabout there that level the river got annoyed it messed of course they, 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 they repaired they did not allow the river to go back they repaired you repair you repair so when nature gets annoyed but in nature also god knows there are areas he has marked they, they, we call them the no go zone even in my christian walk that i will love the lord and go to where there will be no go zone that those animals those animals cannot get me there is a level that god wants to place you there is a level that he wants to place me America has many snakes. But fortunately in America, they live where there are some waters. So the higher you go away from the, 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 the waters, it's like there is a line that is invisible. The snakes cannot get to that level. And I pray that God would help us so that we can go above above the level where the devil and his bites cannot come and catch us. So from the book of Colossians, three things that I want to talk about. I want to show you from Colossians that God through Christ we have been elevated above the level where the devil can come and manipulate us. Or what we will call the snake line. Secondly, I want to show you from the book of Colossians the verses that we read that we have been enlightened. We know the, level, the snake line where it is. And finally, we have been empowered. We have been elevated. It is because we have been enlightened. We have been elevated and enlightened because we have been empowered. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So number one, we have been elevated. You know, some of us live like this is our world and our home. But I sing a song and say, this world is not my home. I am just passing through. But you know, when you sing that song and you have wealth, you have a problem to accept it. You know, I saw a very interesting clip that went viral. And I think somebody was passing a message to me. You know, viral ukitumiwa. Na wewe soma. Wacha tu kuangalia viral tu. Soma. Ukitumiwa ile filamu. There are some viral clips that are messages to you. Kuna zile ambazo ziko na ujumbe kwako. This one. Ah, uh, he Wazungu huwa wameambiwa na daktari wakati wa kukufa wanaambia you will die in 3 weeks on this date on this hour kama risahili ama siku hii so the, this muse had called his family this man had called his family his wife his children and some, uh, there was a grandchild there they were all around the bed walikuwa hapa wamemzunguka kwa kitanda and the old man was having some problem of breathing so they had a machine and he died they whistled they blew trumpet they were so excited one of them went to the to the locker the safe 
and opened it. There was a lot of money. They started giving each other. And then the old man came back to life. They all took it back. And behaved very sorrowful. Shindwe. The message was, enjoy it. It is yours. Some might be waiting for you to die and celebrate not you. Celebrate that resources. Moses, you can kula If you eat, it's not uh, lost. Now she apologize, Moses. Kula. Josiah, kula mali ni yako, bonda mali. Na usi apologize kwa yote. I'm so sorry. Hii hii shallon steak ni nimenunua tu hapo hapo quick mart. Lakini unajua sikuragi ya 800. Don't apologize. Usiweze kusikia umehukumika. Kula. Eat your money. Kuna watu wanakusubiri. There are people who are waiting for you. Lakini kwanza washindwe. Lakini <laughs> bonda mali. <laughs> May God give you an appetite to enjoy the labors of your hands. Mungu akusaidie kuweza kufurahia jasho yako. That is not my sermon. Huyo sio ujumbe wangu. That is ni kitu nimefikiria nikwambie. It's just something I thought. Kwanza kilikuwa ka clip tu. Now the story we don't know what happened. Lakini huyo mzee alipoamka, walizurudisha zote na wakaweka soroning face, vile wanampenda. Walikuwa wamepiga frimbi na waka blow kukawa ni kama kumekuwa na party. We have been elevated. Please can you give us verse 12 to 14? We have been elevated above. The Bible says giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Verse number 13. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Verse number 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sin. You know when we say every one of us have sinned it includes even the bishop. It is everyone. We have all sinned and we are short of the glory of God. And if there is salvation, even the bishop ought to get saved. If there is a heaven for the poor person in Madare, there is also a heaven for the rich man in Mudaiga. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Oh, may God help us. At one time, every one of us were dead in our trespasses. We walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. In the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. We all walked there. The image therefore is clear. That there is a level. The low land. Of sin is a place of spiritual darkness. Spiritual poverty. Spiritual weariness. Spiritual exhaustion. A place of collapse. It is a place of hopelessness. It is a place of sorrow. It is a place of confusion. It is a place of pain. 
It is a place of broken heart. It is a place of shattered dreams. It is a place of ruined relationships. It is a place of troubled mind. When we live there, that lowland of sin, those are the things that happen. It is a place where serpents of sin can hurt us. Bringing pain, poverty, destruction and death. There it is in the lowland. And the end of the road it is judgment. We will be judged if we continue living that. But praise the name of the Lord. The place above the snake bite lane. It is a place of spiritual replenishment. It is a place of spiritual abundance. It is a place of spiritual safety. It is a place of spiritual security. It is a place of spiritual hope. It is a place of complete spiritual abundance. Above. Above. It is a place that is above. And Paul says, and I want you now to consider the language. Verse number 12. He says, God is our father. Oh, mwambie jirani yako, baba ni mungu, ni baba, mungu ni baba yako. Tell your neighbor, God is your father. Na kama mungu ni baba yako, bas, behave vizuri. God is your father, then behave well. You know, behave vizuri. Kama mungu ni baba yako. If God is your father. Behave vizuri. Enda na tabia mzuri. Kama mungu ni baba yako. If God is your father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is our father. When a sinner comes to Jesus for salvation, the sinner is adopted in the family of God. I am no longer a sinner there. I have come to the Lord. In the same verse the Bible says, we have been made and it adds another word, meet to be partakers. We are not only made, but we have been made meet to be partakers. In other words, I'm not, God is not only my father, but I have become an inheritor. Oh, tell your neighbor, neighbor, mungu ni baba yako. God is your father. Even if your neighbor doesn't want you. But if God is your father. He has made you a man. Walk like somebody who has inherited. You know, many times I ask myself when I read this. Many times I ask myself when I read this. How does it look like to walk like somebody who has inherited? Ni kwenda kama muridhi. It's walking like somebody who has inherited. The prodigal son. Do you remember that prodigal son? You know, manam potevu. Even when he was eating with the pigs, he was still the son of his father. But he was a sinner who had sinned against his father. But one day, may that day come to you even today. One day, when he was eating the crumbs with the pigs, he got a revelation. Oh, tell your neighbor, neighbor, pata ufunuo. Hey, Pata ufunuo. Because when he got the revelation that I am a son somewhere and in my father's house even servants they live far much better than myself. Therefore, I will go. All what we need is to go. If we come to Jesus, we are given the power. Return that verse again on the screen. Verse number 12. We, you know, the Lord is our father. But not only so, we are made partakers. We have been made partakers. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
we are made meat to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and you know what it is when it comes into your mind nedarega korea na ngorwe nimekata sikuli na ngorwe kwa nini i have a father oh we sing that song and some of us when we sing it we want to cry i have a father oh you know sometimes when you say a father you remember your father akikuchapa kwa sababu you don't like that you used to beat you when you i have a father the singer says and he knows my name it is start there if i'm going to have victory it will start by me allowing him to elevate me from where i am na wewe uwe mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa elevated you know there are some people in this country that if even when they are elevated they still behave like they are not elevated but when this prodigal son was elevated he washed he clothed he dressed because he was given all those facilities may god help us for us to be elevated we come to the lord jesus christ and we have given the power and he becomes our father verse number 13 we have been delivered there is that part of darkness that i lived in what into sin but god has delivered me na kama nayo umekombolewa ah wewe komboleka agree to be delivered you know me when i was born wakati nilizaliwa i was born when there was one religion here nilizaliwa wakati kulikuwa tu na dini moja tu i don't know whether they have changed but kule kwetu ni kama walibadilika my place is like the god they changed kwa sababu kama wangekuandika utunge mbuzi zao na ngombe zao employed you to take care of their cattle sahani yako ya kukula um your plate na ile inapewa umbwa na the one that, and the one that is given to the dog nje, uko nje. they stay outside sikia mnaanza kuzonga hiyo ni dini gani which religion is this one na sisi hao jamaa tukiwaona and when you see these people kwa sababu hata akija kwa duka kununua inakuwa ni ceremony it became like ser- inakuwa kitu kama sherehe akiwa mbali na duka pale nje sio karibu na mlango we mwedia motu kilo igere he will shout you sell you shopkeeper chukari kilo mwe sugar 1 kg machani a tea leaves maria meta go buru aga green tea that And then he would put his money there. Angeweka pesa yake pale. The shopkeeper will come and pick it. Ah na yule when he brings change is another ceremony to wash the money. To clean the money. Akileta pesa ya mabakio inakuwa ni lazima yoshe tena. Na unajua shetani anaweza wafunga sana. The devil can really keep us. Mimi ndio nimekupimia sukari. I am the one who has Na wewe unaosha karatasi ya nje. Si uoshe sukari basi. Si ni mimi nilikupimia unga. Na unaosha karatasi ya nje. Si uoshe hata hiyo unga ndani. You know the devil blinds you. Shetani anakufanya utusione. You become so ceremonial. Unakuwa wewe ni But you miss the point. Unakosa kuona. We have been delivered. Ni kukombolewa. Na wewe ukikombolewa komboleka. When you are delivered There is a Kariva called Karate River. Now it is always dry 24/7. Kuna mtu mdogo ambao unaitwa Karate na unakuwa umekauka. But it used to be a river in the 70s. Ali 70s. Wakati miaka ile ya 70. We used to go fishing there. Tulikuwa tunaenda kuvua samaki. We used to go swimming there. Tulikuwa tunaenda kuogelea pale. It was a river. Ile kulikuwa mtu. Near the bridge. Karibu na daraja. Boys will go there just for fun. Abijana walikuwa naenda pale. Touch these people. Touch them. They will dip themselves into the river. So that that thing can get out. 
We have been delivered. We've been delivered. It is not this uh, uh, ceremonial thing. We've been delivered. And we have been taken above. Elevated above. Hiyo dini ilikuwa inaenda mguu hata kama ni kutoka kaadara na wadaenda na kuru. Uh, Wanabeba mudhe kitu. They used to walk with a staff all the way from Kandara. So when they come to my house because nowadays they visit me a lot. Walikuja kwa nyumba yangu. Because my mother likes their singing because Garo was next to our house. Uh, mama yangu alikuwa anapenda anapenda kuimba kwao kwa sababu Garo is the place where sisters uh, watada wa kiroho walikuwa wanafugiwa huko. Ukitaka kuwa msichana mzuri ako garo huko garo huko garo huko garo That's where the holy sisters would be closed inside there So they come to my house Wanakujanga nyumba yangu I cannot believe it Siwezi amini What I see Niki mambo yale naonanga Kurosha dilaka aliyokale Kama yule shadra kanaweza kufuka No go kwa gekwa lege Angekufa Because of the way they do go there you know the way Kwa sababu ya vile wanazunguka The way they dance Nanda wana yimba hapana nyimbo ilikuwa simama imara jirinde twende juu twende chini twende juu twende chini sio ndio kegosho walikuwa walikuwa wanaimba tu wakisimama tu we have been delivered from the power of darkness tell your neighbor we have been elevated sin and satan no longer have power over us not ceremonial but deliverance i like the people who say redeem church redeems people ya redeemed ya redeemed in a redeem sema tu redeem yes sema tu ku redeem tu nayo ya ku deliver inapata wa redeemed na deliver so ikikuta wa deliverance in a redeem na sisi wa deliverance ukikuta wa redeem tuna deliver wow watu kaisi kanisa ukombozi tukipata wale wa redeem tunaweza kuwakomboa but you see in english you might have a few difference in that swahili but the thing is we been delivered from the power of darkness sin and satan have no power over us we been given power to say no to sin tell your neighbor neighbor usikubali dhambi ikucheze sema la oh my goodness am i in church today here I hope you are following what I'm saying. We've been redeemed. In verse 13 it continues to say my elevation I've been elevated. It continues to say I've not only been redeemed verse 13. But I've been translated. I'm, you know Watch it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We've been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. The word translated means we have been carried away. No wonder. I believe. Na amen. Hata mkate wa kiuza mia. Na Bwana ameniambia nitakula mkate siku hiyo. Hiyo siku nitakula mkate. Wapende wasipende because i have been translated my economy is different i know i'm talking to people who are saying bishop you don't understand i understand i'm a kenyan kwani mimi ni nani i am a kenyan ikiongezwa hata bishop yake inaongezwa hakuna supermarket inaandikwa bishops muingilie hapa hamna supermarket ni hiyo moja lakini kama bwana ameniambia utakula mkate leo kwanza nitanunua kile kimkate kizuri kikubwa hata wauze 215 hiyo ndio nitanunua kama bwana amesema leo leo mkate ai i've been translated the economy here inaweza kaza 
But I'm even speaking to you watching us from wherever you are. Sure enough, you can have mercy on us in Kenya. Taxes everywhere, VAT everywhere. Our salaries are not the best. You are only a teacher. Or you are a, 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 a house help. But it does not matter. May the Lord lift you up. If he lifted others, he can lift you. Na hakuna kazi mbaya. Mwambie jirani yako. Si bishop alituambia. There is no bad job. Alituambia tufurahie na tukule. Unawekea nani? Tukule. Let's eat. We've been translated. When God saved us, he carried us away. Taking us away out of the lowland of sin. The power of darkness. Placing us into the kingdom of his dear son. We have a new father. We have a new king. We are citizens of heaven. How many people are citizens of heaven and they are here? Wow! If we are citizens of heaven, when they are complaining, don't. Just say, uh, Just say, the one who promised me How have we been elevated? Verse number 14. We have redemption through his blood. The word redemption means we have it means to lose after the payment of ransom price. The Lord Jesus died on the cross to redeem us from the wrath of God. It has been paid off. I hear the Savior say thy strength Indeed, a small child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He was. He has paid it. That's why you have been elevated. All this strong evidence shows us that we have been elevated to a higher place in Christ where sin is not in our doorstop anymore. And if it comes, we can say no to it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So according to the Bible, our new life in Christ is the life above the reality of the devil and his things. Because the Bible says, if then we be risen with Christ, then seek those things which are above where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Colossians 3, verse 1 to 3. For thus says the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also. With him also. That is of contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Isaiah 57 verse 15. Oh God is a, has lifted us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Also the Bible says they that wait upon him. Oh it, they will renew 
their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. You have been saved. You have been saved. Then you have been elevated. You are not the same person you used to be. You do not have the same desires you used to have. You have been elevated to live on much higher level than the world around you. Therefore, you should do what Paul says in verse 12. Give thanks unto the Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you have not been saved, then you are in danger. The poison of the devil, the serpent of sin, will come through your veins. You are trapped in your sins and you are headed to hell. And the hell is not a good place. Oh, I pray that we will all go to Jesus. That we will all follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Your story does not end up in judgment and hell. You can be elevated. You can be lifted out. You can be delivered. You can be given a new life. You will be saved because he can save you. He, the Lord, can change you. He can set you above, not below. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor you have been elevated. Hallelujah. How does the elevation happen? Because of the other two points. One is that have been enlightened about the devil and the snake line. Those that have been saved by grace and placed above the snake light understand the difference between the new life they have been given in Jesus and the old life they used to live in sin. Now notice verse 9 and verse 10. Verse 9 says something like this if you can put it back to us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse 9. For this cause also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So when we give our life to Jesus Christ above where the devil wants to place us down, we are given the ability to know God, to know his will, to know his truth. All that is taught us in verse 9 is to be filled to be completely full of who God is to have the knowledge which is to know fully shakahola isije ikakupata shakahola ni nyingi sana unajua sasa watu wanafikiria shakahola ya huko shakahola ni mingi hata kuna watu wako hapa ninakwambia uende cell muka discuss Na wewe bado kuna muombaji anakuja gedhurai na unachukua wadada wengine muende kwa muombaji. Shakaola unafikiria iko shakaola? Shakaola iko kila mahali. Bishop amekuombea amekupaka mafuta. Na unaenda tena kufa kwa ingine kule. Sasa ukiumia utajua ni gani imekuumiza? If you suffer you will not know which oil has uh, hurt. Ati shakaola. May God fill us with all the knowledge so that we know him. I told you, siku nitawauzia maji mutoroke na migu. Mwende, pio kabisa, mwende pio. Because freely I have received and freely I want to give it to you. Ah, see? Ati niende ni kanunue viatu, ifagio hapa nije ni wauzia ati, hii 
nimeiobea ukifagia naye kwa kwa shetani ataingia shetani huwezi kumfagia na kifagio knowledge tell your neighbor knowledge so that you have the full knowledge when you get saved you do seek to know god fully so that you if you hear kuna jehova wanyonyi ukisikia mafundisho mapoto wacha kuwachekelea hata kuna mwingine anasema sasa ni yeye ni John the Baptist si mwingine anasema ni Elijah if you know fully you have the knowledge of god ukijua kwa kweli utajua ufahamu wa Mungu au utapigwa shenga Jesu Jesu hawezi kuwa mgonjwa wa corona kwa hivyo kana amepata covid huyo si Yesu ni binadamu ni kama kemani tu i say So Paul is telling the Colossians. Paul anawaambia wa Colossae, know him fully. Knowledge is to know fully. Ah, mkamjue kabisa. The will that he talks about in verse 9. It is that which God has decreed of over me. Mambo yale ambayo Mungu amenena juu yangu. Akisema nimebarikiwa, anitaishi kama mtu aliyebarikiwa. Ndio, hata kama kiatu inaenda kombo, akisema nimebarikiwa, nitaenda kama mtu amebarikiwa. Yaani hiyo suruali nitaipiga pasi. Hiyo shati nitaipiga pasi. Hii nitatoka nimekauka. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Wisdom. He says wisdom. Hekima. This is God's truth known understood and lived out. Hekima ni ukweli wa Mungu ambaye That there will nobody who come and play around with me. I know God. I love him. I'm full of his wisdom. Nimejaa hekima yake. Mtu akija kukucheza unamwonea mbali tu. Wewe unasema eh? Oh. Spiritual understanding. Kuelewa kwa kiroho. This is this is powerful. It is an intelligent outside ourselves. It is the ability to know and comprehend what cannot naturally be known or comprehended. Spiritual. Spiritual. So the verse teaching is teaching us that the redeems have been given the ability to know deep spiritual truth kuna mtu atakuja akwambie hiyo kanisa yenu mnaenda ka deep kuna vitu ambavyo ni mystery kuna mambo ambayo hayaeleweki you know the whole mystery is this it is to know christ and the power of his resurrection hiyo ni kumjua yesu na nguvu za ufufuko wake Hallelujah. There is not of this godly knowledge and wisdom in verse 10. It is where it is ex- put verse 10 for us. This verse shows us that we what sets those living above the snake like apart from those who live below. It is those things that you might walk 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 worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing and then being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. It comes by our obedience to God. By walking in holiness before him. By the love we have for the Lord. By the works that happen to uh, we do with our hands. As we are binding the Lord and him are binding in us. The Father is glorified. People who know the Lord are different. Because they have been changed by the power of God. They have been elevated above the snake line. So if you know the Lord strive to live for him. These men and women are changed. They want to strive for a life that is higher than the life they lived before. Hear this. 
Once a little girl was playing in the yard. When she stopped to examine the flowers in her mother's flower garden. She said, "Mom, I know why flowers grow." Then the mother asked, "Why?" The girl explained, "They want to get out of the dirt." You did not get it. You missed it. The flower cannot grow in the dirt. So the girl is wise. The flower has to come out of the dirt. Oh, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Oh, you cannot grow in the dirt. You are a flower. Come out of the dirt. Oh my goodness. Come out from the dirt. You need to remember these things. You have been saved. You know the truth. You know where the line is. You know where the Lord wants you to be. When sin comes, you know how to live. Because you have been elevated. In other words, we only sin because we choose to sin. So we should not sin because we don't want to sin. We say no to sin. And you can remember many stories. David wanted to sin. He looked at Bathsheba, called her home. Samson, King Saul, the prodigal son, we do it because we want to. Had to pig with Kiboko. Nobody gives us a stroke on the back. Mubiri moja, unajua to illustration to raise this idea. Sili mekwambia, come out of the dirt. Iyo utakumbuka mirele. Come out of the dirt. Wacha kukulia huko maua ya rose na imeja matope. Pana. Toka. A story has been told of a young preacher who rode his bicycle everywhere he went. Then one day he was walking down the street and he met another preacher who asked him why are you walking? Where is your bicycle? The young preacher responded, I don't know. It just came up missing. I suppose someone stole it. And I think it might have been a member of my church who stole it. Then the young preacher asked, what should I do? The wise old preacher said, go to church on Sunday and preach on the Ten Commandments. When you get to the one that says, thou shalt not steal, hammer that message preach it tell them wizi anaweza kuwa around preach that one harder sweat if you can thou shall not steal even a bicycle preach it hard so the young preacher went and a few days later the two preachers met on the street. The young preacher now was riding his bike this time. <laughs> the older preacher asked him, was the guilty person convicted who had stolen your bike to return it? The young man responded and said, oh, oh yes, preacher, I preached. I preached the Ten Commandments. And I was planning even to preach, thou shalt not steal. 
But I never got to the one thou shall not steal. When I got to the one that said, Thou shall not commit adultery, I remembered where I left my bicycle. Oh, may God help us. You know, there are some things that we can remember. Go back and pick your bicycle and never see it anymore. You've been been enlightened. I know you will also remember that one. Finally, we have been empowered. And I want to finish. Because sometimes you can preach here for a long time. Remember you have been elevated. Remember you have been enlightened, you know. Now all what you need is the power. First John 5 and verse number 4. I think. I'm just bringing it to a conclusion. For whatever is born of God. Let's read it together. For whatever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The empowerment is when we have faith in God. Because when you have faith in God, you will not sin against yourself, neither will you sin against anyone. You will honor others. You will bless others. You will not take advantage of any. The Bible says in Genesis 4 and verse 7. Genesis. I told you I want to finish. If thou doest well, thou shalt not thou shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou shalt not do well, sin lies at the door. Now, if you look at that scripture, it is simply says, if you do well, will God not accept you? If you do the right thing, will God not accept you? But if you do not well, it is because sin lies at the door. Me, I like the conclusion of that verse. It is very, very powerful. Whoa. Where is sin? Dambi iko hapi? Mulangoni. Iko hapo kinywani mwako. Iko hapo kwa macho yako. Iko hapo kwa migu yako na mikono. Dambi iko hapo inacheza cheza pale. Sin is just at your door. Dambi iko hapo. Lakini anasema anasema hivi. But unto thee shall be his desire. But thou shall rule over. Or you can subdue it. Or you can overcome it. Sin is around the corner. But thank God I've been empowered to overcome it. You know you can make an altar call and pray nobody with nobody. Because nobody wants to appear like Hey, Bishop amesema wenye dhambi waende wakaombewe. Hapana. Siwezi onekana kwa hiyo chaachi bwana. Niende pale mbele. Hapana. Sitaenda. Na mimi sitakuita. Kama ulifikiria nitakuita sikuiti. Hakuna mimi ni sitima atakuombea. Hapana. Lakini wewe mwenyewe unajua kale ka dhambi kako mlangoni. Yaani unalalaga unakawacha kwa mlango ukitoka mnachukuana nako hako ndiko maandiko inasema kako pale lakini wewe una mamlaka na uwezo wa kukashinda you have the power all what you need is faith in the lord jesus christ that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me kwamba naweza tenda mambo yote kupitia mungu ambaye ananipea nguvu shall we all stand tukaweza kusimama